Hey, what's up everybody? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. So, we got our canola field finished up. So, we have a full grain cart here that we're going to go ahead and get emptied into our truck. And then we still have a little over half a hopper in our combine. So, we also need to get that emptied out. So we'll start off with uh, getting that going. And we're going to run over here and see if we can't get the combine unloading at the same time. I do have the swather already running on our flax field. Um, so we are moving right along here. And then, as you can see over there, we got some machinery sitting. Uh, dealership did bring us some machinery to put up some flax bales. Uh, we got a Case IH 8920 with duals, two-wheel drive, and a John Deere 560M. They also brought us a pallet of net wrap. Um, the salesman said, I don't know how much you're going to go through, so I'll just give you a whole pallet and we'll just grab whatever's left. And then we have the uh, RBM 2000 bale loader. So we are set to put up some bales once we get there. Let's see. Okay, so everything is empty. So we're going to go ahead and get that folded in. We are going to take our combine here, and we are going to head on over to our flax field. I already have the course loaded up, so we are going to go ahead and get him over there and get him rolling. <clears throat> I have been doing some thinking um, while I was working on finishing up this canola field was kind of doing some thinking. So, BC Bueller had made and released a land clearing pack. Now, I'm kind of thinking about possibly after harvest is all done and over with, that we might see about uh, talking the dealership into a rental and uh, clearing a bunch of the trees here in field one and uh, maybe get a excavating company out here and get um, or we could even possibly hire someone whichever is going to be the cheaper and easier option for us but clearing out all those trees in field one there and then have this little crick in between the two parts of field one filled in and make field one one big field and because course play always wants to incorporate it anyways um, roping field 51 into it as well all it is just a little strip of grass that we'd have to plow through so that's kind of what I've been thinking on. Um, and then field one here would just be one big field. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this guy rolling. Alright, and away we go. And we are dumping down straw as we go on. So now, the dealership did not bring us two tractors, which is quite okay. 
because what we will do is we'll take our 47.55 there and we'll use that on the uh, stacker. So we aren't going to worry about doing anything until we're done combining. Um, but we'll be just fine. So we've got 1,242 bushels of canola, which isn't too terrible of an amount. Uh, I do wish it was a little more, but it will work. So now if you guys remember from, I believe it was yesterday's episode, um, I was talking about putting up a building, and I'm kind of thinking right in here, uh, if we just kind of get this land leveled out right here um, we could put uh, something like one of these guys up put it uh, you know maybe right back in here somewhere um, potentially there are quite a few different shed options that we could choose from. I mean, we could put up something like this guy, too. Um, that would give us a decent amount of storage as well. So, I mean, we do have a good few options. Um, but we'll see what happens. We may even, you know, we could potentially get rid of these bins and the liquid tanks here. And, uh, you know, put something up here. And then we could even get rid of this bin. And, I mean, there's a few different ways that we can do some things. So we will see just kind of where things go. Um, the main reason that I bring up getting rid of the seed, fertilizer, and lime tank um, is because I do want to get into using the um, co-op that is on this map. Uh, I really like the way that it's set up. So I do want to get us into that. Um, main reason that I put the things that we did up uh, at this farm was just for starting purposes just to kind of get us going and kind of speed up the process of getting into our first um, year So now I'm not saying I'm going to go through and, you know, every single field, we're going to get rid of anything in the center of it. That's definitely not going to be the case. Um, I mean, we do also um, want to kind of keep it original, uh, so to speak, so... So we're going to leave that guy right there. This we need to... Oops, wrong way. This we need to get moved. We're going to get this guy pulled forward. And then we need to close this lid. So it is 27% full. Never realized that it actually shows how much, you know, a percentage of how full. I've never really had it. It must be a update maybe or something, I guess. Never really had it show its capacity before either. So that's kind of neat. We're 
going to kind of try and hug this right over here. But we do also need to open the lid. Okay. So we're going to try and keep this kind of hugged over to the side here. And then we're going to try and get it so our when our truck comes in, we kind of go off to the side of the bin. So I'm hoping that we'll do a little bit better on flax than we did uh, the canola. Kind of hoping flax ends up being our kind of best here. Okay. So we got that guy set. not back into our roller here. And I think we are going to be pretty good right there. Perfect. All right, now let's get in this grain cart. And uh, we're going to run on over here to the field and see if we can't tr uh, track down that combine. I'd like to catch him before he gets full so he doesn't make a mess of our wind rose, but if he does, he does. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you can definitely tell the uh, difference in texturing for these two. For uh, what's swath and what's been through the combine. The actual straw swath is a lot darker in color. So our swather is slowly getting there. He's got about another 27 minutes left on him there. Is our combine. So just gotta give him a minute to kind of get filled up. But yeah, so in doing that, we would gain a lot of field area. I mean, we would have this entire center uh, ripped out. Um, all of these trees right here in the center would come out. And we would have all of this crick gone. So, I mean, we would gain quite a bit of land. Um, and if we really wanted to, I mean, we could. Let's walk over here and take a look. Um, we could always take out these trees here as well and kind of shape this a little bit different. So we'll do some looking around. We'll kind of see what uh, pricing is going to look like on everything. And uh, kind of go from there.
where he makes an absolute disaster. We are just going to go like this here for this first pass. Not too bad. A little over halfway around. Well, we're over halfway, but not too terribly bad. Uh, let's take a look at what our oops, what our yield map looks like here. Boy, this field is all sorts of messed up now. Yeah, our yield map is kind of all over the place. All over the place. Good lord. Alright. Perfect. Let me get this guy lined back up and get him continuing on here. And then in doing all of that, we'll be able to f run this field straight north and south. We won't have these awkward angles anymore. So that'll uh, that'll also be a kind of nice thing. It'll make field work a little bit easier. Because if we're gonna do that, we definitely need a little bit of up, a little bit of an upgrade, especially on the cedar. It's kind of my main thing right now to uh, get update upgraded, I should say. Hopefully we do get a decent amount of bales off of this field as well. That would be a good thing. Um, let's just take a look here at what flax straw is looking like even. Flax straw. So our highest is at the spinnery at $76.26 a yard. So, hopefully, we can make a decent amount of bales and uh, get somewhere with it. Hmm, interesting. Not sure why he's... Why it's uh, doing it like that. That's kind of... Oh, because he's going to want to stop over in there. Okay. Well, all right then. That's interesting. But, whatever works... Let that guy roll on. So yeah, I can't really complain about this uh, flax yield here. It's not doing all too bad. almost to the end of our first row we're at 32 percent and we've filled so that's not too bad uh, almost a hopper and a half all the way around it's not the most amazing but 
It's definitely not that bad. We are definitely going to have a lot of a uh, lot of work to do on uh, these on some of these fields to get our uh, levels back to where they need to be. Kind of have some pretty cruddy uh, levels going on right now, so hopefully we can kind of clean them up pretty good. see that we are going to need fuel in this combine soon. Um, let's see about our swather. How is that thing doing on fuel? Okay, so that guy will make it. Um, our combine, though, is going to need some fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the fuel trailer hooked up. I'm not going to put any death fluid in it because we don't currently have any equipment that requires death. So we aren't going to worry about that right now. it's the driver's side for fuel. the uh, passenger side for it. I know there's fuel in our tank. I did fill it. And I have filled the combine out of it. Okay, why does this trailer not want to fill? Oh, that's right. Okay. I have a mod that I forgot that I installed for manual refilling, refueling. So that is the reason that it does not want to. There we go. All right. I completely spaced that I had that. So our tank is still 96% full. So that's going to take a minute to fill up. We're just going to go ahead and leave it right there because we aren't going to need it for a little bit yet. And then we're going to go ahead and chase down that combine. By the time we get over to him, he is going to be fairly close to being full. Oh, holy smokes. Okay. All right. Well, there's that. Um, okay. <laughs> get this guy turned around here. Get him continuing on.
Okay, now we can jump back over to the grain cart. That's the only kind of downside to running two machines on the uh, same course is you run into that issue quite a bit where they end up in each other's way at some point or another, especially if one is working on your headlands and the other is going around the field. It's just always a nightmare. Come on. I don't know why you feel the need to put the frickin' hogger back in. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, this damn tractor. I was really hoping that I could have used the 47 on this because it would have ran this a whole lot better, but I think what we're going to do for these headlands, we're just going to deactivate this guy on unloading, or activate the unloading while stopped. Because otherwise we are going to sit and we are going to fight with this thing tooth and nail. So I guess we might as well let him go for a little while longer. We can let him go until he stops. Which is probably going to be over in a different area of the field. Now if I really wanted to, what I could do as well is I could let that guy finish that second headland get started on one of his up down rows and then I could bring the baler up here but I'm just going to do everything in one shot there's no point in start this stop that start this back up I I don't feel like doing all that extra messing around and killing time we'll just wait until the end So he should be making his way over here momentarily. And there he is. So he's still got a little bit of room. He's only 73%. I've not actually gone and looked at the, yeah, so you can see all the grain in it. And then over here, you just got your straw. <laughs> Definitely a very good looking unit. We are at 80% now. Yeah, and for things like, you know, running a pickup header, having this field straightened out would definitely help us as well. We wouldn't have some of these crazy corners to try and make and end up leaving product. So we're going to go ahead and get him unloaded here quick. And that's going to do it for today.
So I'll get us a little further into this. Um, maybe get us closer to the end of uh, our flax harvest. And then uh, tomorrow we'll do a little more, you know, finish off our harvest and do a little bit of baling. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, we'll catch you all tomorrow.